everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharice, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Got it. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is gonna be a what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max video. Um, I have seen this before and I have watched it, not gonna lie, some people's videos and I do download apps. I'm not even gonna like go into the whole describing. Let's just like start snooping through my phone. And that's what it looks like, the 11 Pro Max. I have had it like a month and a half now. I did pre-order it, so I did get it like shortly after it dropped. But I am gonna do a screen recording, that way you guys could see everything and I'm gonna scoot over because I'm gonna put it all right here so you know. Block that. And I do got my Starbucks. And I shot caramel dribble, drizzle and they put a lot like. Might as well have ordered a caramel frappuccino. So here we start with my lock screen and let me unlock it with my face. And we're unlocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and start recording and that's what I'm gonna insert right here. On my phone here, you start off with like the front screen pretty much. And on my front screen, I have like my main app so like the stuff that i know that i'm going to click like right when i open my phone nine times out of ten so we got the hot schedules app so that's pretty much my work app and i'm not even gonna well yeah i'm gonna show y'all so that's pretty much like my work schedule and like what i got going on what shifts i'm working what time i gotta go in this app is literally essential i'm always checking it like i'm always checking to see if people release shifts or whatever if i want to pick something up or whatever so that's good um, that's actually an app that like you can't just like get it's something that my employer provides to me so that's how I have access to that app so then you have like the music and that's where I put the FaceTime app and then I do have three folders as you could see you have like the social networking folder the finance folder and the education folder so it's kind of self-explanatory so social networking is going to be what social networking so like my apps right now are facebook instagram snapchat twitter youtube yelp i think that's a social networking app i don't know we're gonna consider a social networking app and then the soundcloud app i don't know why my apple watch is there but whatever it's gonna stay there i don't feel like moving it the tiktok app i actually have never made a tiktok never but i do kind of want to like try it because i heard it's like super funny i haven't even like scrolled through it or anything so that's probably what i'll do after this video i'll probably make a little tiktok video but whatever we'll see and then also the pinterest app so pinterest is actually one of my favorite apps i do it oh see i was on it today looking for chase dreams quote, quotes motivation or whatever so here i usually can get like nail inspos or like outfit inspirations um all that i do have like different like boards so i have like outfits i have like nails i have like college graduation pictures i have like a tattoo board a hair board halloween costumes quotes everything pinterest is like the app so if you're learning how to do things like diy like definitely get pinterest because it got everything on there so enough of the social networking because like i don't really feel like going through that because that's boring now finance Finance, I really only have like six apps on here. One of them is already installed onto the phone and that's the wallet app. But here I have the Chase app because that's who I bank with. I do have Cash app because that's how I do send money to people sometimes or sometimes I use Zelle, which is through the Chase app. We're not gonna click on any of those because you know, that's private information. And then you have Capital One. So that's like my credit card company or one of them because I have a credit card through Capital One and I also have a credit card through Chase. So both of those credit cards are in those apps. And Money Network. Money Network is actually like my employer pay card and I am a server and a bartender at a restaurant. I paid through there. So pretty much when I go to work, all my tips will load directly onto this um, card right here. And I can go on that app and check to see how much I got on my card and blah 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 now education the education because y'all know i am in school or i don't know if you guys know but i'm telling you i am in school i got like the outlook app so that's pretty much like my school email so here like i get emails about like school assignments and all that so that's important to have and then i do have like the canvas app which is pretty much like kind of like where you submit assignments and where you see your syllabi and well syllabi not syllabus because yeah it's syllabi um yeah and as you can see you know no flex or whatever but yes i do have all a's right now because i'm that bitch okay and i work really hard so yeah 
Um, and then I do have the Chegg study app. If you don't know what Chegg is, make sure you know what Chegg is. Like, I don't even think I'm logged in right now. I am. But on here, like, if you have any question, you can always put it in the search bar and like an expert Q&A will literally like solve the whole problem for you. It does cost $14.99 a month. This is not sponsored or anything. This is just something that has honestly like saved my life in college. Like whether it be like homework assignments or just like just anything like the answers are usually on check. So I don't know if you've ever noticed if you typed in one of your questions and then you'll see like the answer on Google, but you're not able to access it, it's on that Chegg website. And once you have a membership, you're able to access all those answers. So if you're like a science major or something, I definitely recommend getting Chegg. Definitely science major, any STEM majors, because usually like all the textbooks have their answers on Chegg. Um, now we're gonna go to the second page. So the second page is a little bit like miscellaneous. I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I got the uh, utilities oh, some of this stuff like just comes on the phone I have two phones actually I have this phone right here and I do have an iPhone 8 plus and I do have like apps on this phone that I don't have on this phone and I do use these phones interchangeably um, if I need to do something on this phone I'll just grab this phone sometimes I bring both with me and sometimes I don't or I just use two phones at home so, ooh, didn't mean to open it so we got what else do I use on here the photography app the photography app is something that I use like when it comes to Instagram and like posting pictures and stuff this really does come in handy I do use Facetune um, like almost everybody but Facetune, Visco, Visco is like I like Visco because I'm able to like edit um, and as you can see like you can literally like adjust exposure or whatever and do all that so I knew it. I was going to start recording and people were going to be like all up in the notifications and yeah. So that's Visco. <laughs> and then iMovie sometimes. I do edit my videos sometimes on my phone. Like these two videos I did edit on my phone because I was unable to get the footage from my iPhone to my laptop. So I just went ahead and edited it on my phone. So yeah. Airbnb is something that I do use. I don't think I'm logged in on this account. Continue with Facebook. Cause I, yeah, I'm not even gonna do that right now. I do have Airbnb on this app, so I just haven't been anywhere since I got this phone. So I'm not logged in and I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, I do have the Google Maps app. Use Google Maps, don't use the maps that's on your phone. Um, because the maps that are on like iPhone they just like really suck they'll be like you're arrived and you're really not even there so I go ahead and use Google Maps because it is a little bit more accurate when it comes to you know deciding where are we going I do have Gmail because I do have a Gmail that's where like my um email that's like my YouTube email pretty much so I do use it every now and then but I mainly use it for YouTube and business inquiries and blah 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 and stuff like that so that's a thing Shazam this is an app I'm really gonna recommend because me, if you're like me, you're a music lover and I just love music. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play a song, a random song on my iPhone and see if it's going to Shazam it. I don't wanna get copyrighted or anything so I'm gonna just play a little bit. <laughs> So just like that it shazammed it and it'll literally like you could you could see it but you could literally see the, the video sometimes when you shazam it it'll automatically add the song to your library so i think that's pretty cool so like sometimes when i go places and i just hear music i don't know i'd be like opening the shazam app it's like i don't want nobody to know i don't know this song but i'm shazamming it now the last page on my phone are like these three apps um job search which is actually zip recruiter um, I am in college right now and I am kind of, you know, debating on whether or not I want to find a job post-grad. So I kind of like go on here sometimes to see like what people are offering and, you know, what they're paying. And I have like found some jobs. I have applied to jobs and I have gotten called back from jobs. So it does work. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, this is a little bit more adulting. I don't even know if I want to find a job right now. So 
not gonna talk about it Poshmark Poshmark is uh, an app that you can sell your used things I've tried to sell stuff and no one's ever bought it I put like uh, these Gucci sunglasses I had on like no one bought it like I put a couple things and no one's ever bought it so yeah it's just an app at this point like just sitting on my phone not doing anything and then the last app that I am going to be talking about is the motivation app so the motivation app what I was about to say I've never seen that the motivation app is pretty much like it has like different quotes and you're able to just kind of like read through them like you could just like swipe and i like it i never lose either i win or i learn grow through what you go through sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together and then there's also ads on there but i like about these because you could kind of share them with a friend you can post it on instagram you could just save it sometimes i get these quotes and i'll make it like my screensaver for the day or whatever like i use these because sometimes i'm like sad or i'm going through something and i'm just like you know i kind of just need a little bit of motivation and quotes i don't know i just like quotes i'm just a quote girl like i just yeah so yeah that's pretty much what's on my iphone right now like i do have this phone which has way more apps like way more but like i didn't transfer them all over like i had other apps like unum and then unum stopped working and like i had the pretty little things app which i don't know why i had their app i i'm pretty simple when it comes to my phone i literally use my phone to like browse social media go on youtube uh, text facetime and call people that's it i feel like a grandma or whatever i don't have games on my phone i have games on this phone not this phone and not only that i feel like it just takes up space and i'm a type of person who i have a ton of pictures on my phone so i kind of need space the must-have apps are the motivation app the um shazam app and like visco and facetune if you like to make pictures i do have like a couple food apps i wasn't really gonna like go through those or anything but one food app i do recommend for everybody to have a chick-fil-a because it's like free all you really have to do is scan the app every single time you go to chick-fil-a and i promise you if you go to chick-fil-a a lot like me you will like earn so many points and you could save you so much money yeah i hope you guys all like this video i hope you guys enjoyed looking through my phone with me and finding out what's on my iphone but yeah if you do like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below and share with the friends and last but not least you gotta subscribe to my channel because we are getting close to 1k and i can't be more thankful and i really like this jacket if y'all like this jacket i'm am gonna put the link in the description below i did get it off honey bum it was like 25 bucks so yeah i'm really feeling myself it's gonna be like a winter jacket for me so i do need a couple more if y'all know like websites that have a whole bunch of jackets like this let me know okay. thanks for watching this video i hope you guys do like it i will see you in my next one okay Bye! And hey, comment below if you notice that my makeup looks better. Looks better today, right? Right? It's, it's, it's not that dollar store shit. <laughs> Later. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.